Hey everybody, it's Mr. Movie 87 here, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Pokemon Blue, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Okay, we're all fully healed up on the HP front, we just defeated Lance, and now we have one final trainer left. Asphart once again, for like, what, the eighth time now, I'm pretty sure we fought him? And yeah, back then, when this first when this game first came out, it was like such a dick move. Like, you battled your way through the Elite Four, you defeat Lance, you're like, you're the Pokemon Champion! You're, like, sigh of relief, but then you find out you have one more battle left against this asshat. And yes, yeah, so he says that, but uh, we'll see what happens. And then I will be a little quiet here for what's coming up next. But I'll, I'll let him talk it out first. Yeah, this still gives me some goosebumps to this day, I will admit that. that that's why I was quiet for this part. But anyway, anyway, Asphart now has a pretty damn solid team across the board. Level 60 plus for everybody. So this was kind of why I mentioned before I wanted to grind to level 60. But really though, I'm okay all the same. Pidgeot, same as always, goes down in one hit. Alakazam, this one could be tricky, although I'll just go with Mew because he resists Psychic, so I'm not really worried about that. But yeah, normal attacks here will be fine. Um, any Bart-type moves would work as well, so I could have went with um, Jolteon, but nah, whatever. Also, I thought Alakazam was level 60, but apparently he's... well, he's clearly not, but whatever. And yeah, there's, um... whatever he just used there, Reflect, I don't really care about that, because... wow, he didn't die? I thought he would. Also, why do you have just Psybeam? Like, no Psychic Alakazam? You're disappointing, like, really. Yeah, Alakazam could really ruin your day, by the way, if you let him. And now I'm fine there. Okay, up next is Rhydon. He finally evolved his damn Rhyhorn, by the way. So yeah, Rock Ground type, extremely bulky, by the way, and also pretty damn strong at that. But thankfully for me, uh, four times weak to water, also is very slow, and also has low special stat. So, this should one-hit KO. There we go, nice and easy. Okay, three down, three to go, with Gyarados up next. Okay, let's go back over to Sparky. So yeah, this is why levels don't particularly matter all that much. I mean, you don't want, you don't want to be like 20 levels below your opponent, right? You want to be reasonably leveled. But in my case here, you can really afford to be like five or so levels below your opponent if you have type advantages to match up properly, right? Whereas like, in my case here, I of course do. So yeah, level 55 is more than, than enough, really, if you have a good solid team in board. Anyway, Arcanine's up next, so we'll go back to uh, Godzilla. Though actually, Nidorkin would work here as well for Earthquake, but it doesn't really matter either way. Arcanine's so cute, by the way, and also extremely handsome. Pretty much, yeah, in my case, Crassus would be Arcanine, and Pompey would be a Growlithe. That's pretty much how it goes. Also, takedown, I don't really care about that. Yeah, 50 HP, I, yeah, that's that's pitiful damage, really. Although, actually, I guess with these two, Crassus would kind of be more like either a, a Mightyena or a Houndoom. Um, Pompey would definitely be like a Poochyena or like a, a Growl or something like that as well. Okay, last up, we have Venusaur. Um, let's go over to Tornado, actually. Who gets uh, one chance to shine here against the very last Pokemon of the entire Elite Four. But hey, <laughs> better than nothing, really. And, uh, oh, almost a one-hit KO. Nice. And, yeah, you waste your turn buffing yourself up. Even though I can two-hit KO you anyway. So yeah, ten levels lower than him, and I can two-shot him still with Drill Peck. So, by and large, yeah, pretty easy. There we go, takes care of Asphalt. Once again. Yeah, you're a champion for all of four minutes, bro. You you suck. Um, hey, not my fault. Get better, scrub. Get good, pleb. Casual. Well, I'll definitely say that. I mean, your team is really damn good, by the way. Well, hey, at least he's humble about it. Kind of, anyway. And also, by the way, this would be episode, what, 45? So I was able to end this on a nice, uh, even note there. I always I always like to do that. Either, like, in a, episodes end on a 5 or a 0. I always like to do that, if at all possible. 
I never really fully intend on doing that though, like to purposely plan it out, I should say. It just kind of happens as, as I go along, so... <laughs> you suck. Apparently I yeah, got here a little too slow. How would you have even gotten here anyway? I mean, did you have just flown here, or I just walked here? Because you suck. Yeah, that's why I won. The power of love! <laughs> I did rats. So apparently, also, you do not battle Gary in other Pokemon games, like the future ones, like in Black and White 1 and 2 and X and Y. I think I heard that before. I don't remember. I never have before, actually, so I can't say for sure on that one. Okay, sure. As for you just uh, stay here in your super small enclosed room. Well, thanks, Professor. Pokemon Hall of Fame. Ah, <sighs> deep breath. This LP's gone on for a very long time, by the way, with my sporadic uploads for a while in the early goings of it. But then now I've gone into a good schedule of doing it twice a week there, so I made better progress on that. Damn right we are. A level, level 55 hype! Jolteon! Jolteon was a huge bro for the, the entire Elite Four. Steamrolled Lorelei. For one thing. Also, Rhett Lance, by the way. As well. Distrudo never actually used you, I don't think. I could have in some cases, but I didn't really need to. Good old Godzilla. Gotta love the starter type here. Been a bro the entire LP. Firo had your time to shine against Venusaur, and that was about it. But still, I love having flying types on my team anyway, just for the sake of having fly, normally. Mew, my legendary friend, broke the game, pretty much. I could've... <laughs> I maybe should've got a uh, Kadabra on my team, but whatever. Nido Kane rot solid the entire way, with a very... This is an awesomely varied move set. Steamrolled lots of things there. And yours truly! Yeah, that time, by the way, is, is completely fake. That's all the fast-forwarding I had done off-camera. <laughs> so, yeah, it makes the timer go extremely fast. Oh, but I, I do have Flash already, so thanks for that. Alrighty. And good old credits rolling through now. Now, I could do a review of the game, but I mean, what could I say that hasn't already been said thousands of times over the course of the years? Pokemon's been around for so long now, it's here to stay as well. It's a freaking monopoly of games, of merchandise, of just damn near everything around there. And so many of us, people like my age and older, younger, we've grown up with these games. We've gotten every single game of each generation, a new system in tow as well, would link battle and just catch everything and just experiment with new Pokemon and just enjoy the world and just explore everywhere. A game like this on a Game Boy cartridge, which are so damn small, by the way, like space-wise, to fit a huge adventure like this onto that Game Boy cartridge is fucking amazing. And I mean, for a lot of us, this was our real bait first, like real first adventure, like huge adventure in RPGs and whatnot. And they did a tremendous job on this as well. I mean, it's nostalgia at its finest, like seriously. It's just, what else is there to say? It's Pokemon. We've all been there. And it's, I mean, it's here to stay, I think. Now, at this point, I'll need to uh, figure out my next LP for the channel. I'm not sure what that'll be quite yet. Um, not sure if I'll do an another Pokemon LP. Um, might go with something else there. I, I really don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Um, but I mean, I'll take care of that later. It might be a little while, you have to take a little breather in between LP so I can plan something out there. Um, but yeah, it'll still be every Tuesday and Friday for when I upload it, by the way. Let's go ahead and just, um, reset the game back here real quick, and I'll just get back to just some random point here. No need for the, uh, intro cutscene there. Go ahead and load up my file. And now we're back home. So with that, guys, thanks very much for watching this LP, my very first one with the uh, Much Games crew. I do also apologize, it took me so long to finish, by the way. Um, 45 episodes should not take, like, a year plus to do. Um, but yeah, I do also thank, thank you for your patience as well throughout the entire time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
And with that, this has been Mr. Movie 87 signing off. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.